Are you happy to be home? Yeah, I'm happy to be home. <laughs> All right, guys, we're off and running on another van, and this is Gracie's from Gracie and Jock's Adventures, and that floor should look very familiar, and these guys should look very familiar. We got the furring strips cut, the insulation. We are in the process of cutting that, and Gracie did all the kill mat and the insulation, and we're gonna put a fan in next and <laughs> who knows she did not have a mat in the floor so we had to make the subfloor and we have that done and because i do that the same way and you just saw it on my last build um i didn't record it but we've got the furring strips down the thin slate down in the floor and we made this floor pattern and i will tell you it was a job so i'm gonna put a pattern on top of this now that it's easier because it's the wood so that i can use it for the flooring and to protect the flooring as soon as i get that down so um also we got some of the furring strips up we had some leftover cut off plywood from the floor and went ahead and put some of the furring strips up but i'm gonna get the electric the wiring pulled so i can get some lights in here and a pattern made for the floor today and uh, we'll go from there somebody's being a show off today <laughs> <laughs> we should all be that tall Typically, I'll have the client take tape and we'll tape off everywhere that there's going to be a USB, USB port, an outlet, um, any kind of switches. And then as I wire to that spot, I'll take a check mark and mark that off. That way I know that I've got the wire, um, all the wires ran. So when I'll double check all my tape and when all my tape is checked off, then I know I've got all my wires pulled. So what I've been doing in the very beginning, when you guys first started watching my channel, I pulled 12 gauge wire in, in my entire ram. And although 12 gauge is cheaper than 14 gauge, I did start doing them pretty, pretty appropriately for the device that I'm powering. So my refrigerator, diesel heater, water pump, those kind of bigger draw items, a 12 volt cigarette lighter port, cause you never know if they're going to put a heating blanket in it. I put 12 gauge wire on those. My puck lights, my USB for phone charging, um, the reading lights, I use 14 gauge wire for those. And then I fuse those accordingly pretty quick on the build i've already got it in here i go ahead and get that blue c fuse block connected that way you can see i've got some temporary lights in here i can get some light in here asap so that i can start working and because you're running those wires all you've got to do is plug that into your fuse block make a temporary cord with a cigarette lighter port on the end of it that way you can get yourself some power if we need this fan on all i've got to do connect the fan wire i've already got the fan wire pulled all i got to do is plug that into the fuse block and we've got vent fan and we've got um lights in here so that i can work so um, so what is next is we've got the furring strips up on the ceiling now. The floor pattern is made and Bernadette has been polyurethaning the ceiling boards, the tongue and groove pine that Gracie wants on the ceiling and the walls. I went to the store. I think I got 42 of them. They are all stained um, polyurethane on both sides. One coat on the underside, two coats on the top side. And... We're going to start putting that ceiling up as soon as I get the regular lights wired. So that's what's going to go on next. So what we need to do is make sure that when this first piece goes up, see this right here? It really needs to be in the same spot all the way along. If not, you're going to have to fix. It's, it's not going to be straight. And over here, you're going to have like one inch is down here and a half inch down there. So we're going to cut this so we la land center on this beam. And, oh, you know what? We can go all the way here. We'll, we'll make them as long as we possibly can. All right, let's cut that and then that can go up.
is sponsored by Hear Protect. They sent me these earplugs. They actually sent me three sets of them, one for each of us here at the shop. They're on a good little cord. They help muffle these loud noises. We're gonna give them a try and see how we like them. All right, guys, we're getting the shop cleaned up. They didn't tell me I had van hair, but who cares? We'll see you guys on the next video.